Good evening, my YouTube family. And this is actually very late, so you're gonna see this video tomorrow, I guess. Uh, my name is Gina Anayana, and I'm an intuitive healer. Mm, this channel I use to uh, share my downloads and teachings, uh, and also share the, uh, the episodes from my podcast, Unity Through Diversity. So my daily life is a teaching, right? Your daily life is always teaching you something. So I want to share something that I acknowledge tonight. So I went to a more of a business formal, this gala, you know, um, dress up. I actually have no idea what it was it because one of my friend invited me and I was like, yeah, sounds fine. Music, dance. I like music and dance. So by the way, there's one singer. I think he is, maybe he's famous, you know, like, first of all, I have no idea. You want to be famous or not famous to me, I just don't feel a thing. It's just like when people tell me you love me because my love language is not a words. So, but I'm just saying the famous and not famous people to me, they are all same. They are all souls there. So this so-called, this artist, uh, maybe he's really famous. I have no idea. Uh, from a big city, Las Vegas, somewhere. And he came to Bay City to do this performance singing. And um, he just, uh, when he's break time, he will hold his uh, like whiskey, just walking around, uh, you know, from table to table, you know, just uh, slow. He's probably 60 something years old. And I mean, we love, I love his voice, um, his performance, everything. But I just know there is something inside of him. I don't know what. I just pick up energy. I just couldn't put a finger on it, but I was just like this. So needed some love, you know? So as a healer, it's not just people, you know, sitting in front of you, have a healing session. You do the healing. You are this energy that so yeah, you carry. That when you walk in your daily life, your energy is automatically just magnetic going all there doing its own work. I don't need to do a thing, but my energy is already going there. And it's so automatically when I pick up people's energy and get curious and uh, it would draw me to do certain things that if I feel called to and if, if people is also open. So usually it's two ways. When people are open, I will do a quick healing on them right away. So back to this old man, old, like older gentleman, he's uh, happened to hanging around at my table. He's standing there. I just, I didn't even think about things. So I just stand up. I was asking him, I was, hey, how are you doing? You know, is everything all right? You know, I uh, really thank you for your performance, things like that. So we end up like a dance a little bit. Um, you know, I just, see that I still couldn't figure out what was going on. And I mean, he seems, you know, he told his love story, how he met his wife and have have kids, <coughs> everything, excuse me, everything seems so beautiful, but one thing is missing. And at the end of the night, uh, he, you know, he, he came to me, say, thank you. You know, um, he's like, you are such a lovely person and I love your energy. I was like, thank you so much. And I look into his eyes. It, 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 uh, I feel called to do a quick, healing on him, a general, you know, unconditional love and total healing, use Zeta healing. And, uh, and he said, yes, because I had no idea whether he's, uh, you know, spiritual or not spiritual, whether his religion base whatsoever, because not everybody open for healing, especially when you don't know this person. So he said, yes. So I did my healing and I came out. We said bye because I told him, I was like, Hey, Thanks for like receiving this gift. It's a, a gift uh, from me to you. And I don't even know why I need to give you this gift, but I feel called to. And I told him, say, hey, you might not even going to see me in, in your rest of your life. You might not even remember my name, but I, I hope one day you remember that's one Asian girl did something to me. You know, maybe he's going to remember, maybe not, but that's not my point. But later that night, I realized what the things that I was missing, but I'm feeling it is this sadness. He's famous, right? But sadness is people are asking him, say, sing those old songs 
that he is really good at over and over and over and over. So as an artist, as you create, being creative, right? You have this creativity, but when people only handing on one thing out of a hundred things that you're good at, but they only want you to perform, bring to the world for this one thing, how do you feel about it? You feel not fully seen. You feel you, your talent is not fully be able to show. It's like your wing is open, but it's not fully open. You know, like you can fly, but you want to fly higher. But people are like, you, you, it's okay. You, you can stay here. We just want you to be here. This type of feeling of stuck, feeling not being fully seen, this uh, being suppressed, the sadness, the limited, the, 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 the feeling is that's what I'm picking up tonight from him. And uh, I just want to make this video because maybe some of you are watching this video, you, you can relate that you have so many talents, you can do so much. However, your boss only sees this layer of you and they want to keep this position, do the things over and over and over and won't see, won't give you more opportunity, more space, more platform to allow, allow yourself to, to show more of the talents you have, gifts you have. And maybe in a, it's in a, a relationship, you know, loving relationship is just uh, overprotecting, you know, just to say, hey, you just be a wife, just be a mom, you're good. I, I don't need you to go make money because we have enough money. But what if you're not working there for money, you just for your passion, but the other partner won't see it. They think, you, you know, you want to make money. You just want to go out there, do whatever it is. They don't get it. The feeling of the limited, a feeling of stuck, feeling of not being fully seen, feeling of just uh, don't know what to do. So I just want to make this video to acknowledge those uh, talented artists uh, and uh, people carry so many gifts. When people do not fully see them, this feeling is I want to acknowledge. And I now understand why I start talking to this gentleman and offered a, a healing him is because I picked up this part of energy and I really want to address this part of energy to the world is that I want to encourage you and invite you to ask yourself what you really want to offer to the world if people see or not seen are you gonna still do that what are you doing that for for doing that for people to see see you or do that because you love it if you doing things love it if nobody's seeing you, you're still gonna dance on stage, like tonight. I mean, literally, I have no idea who all these people are. Only know probably one or two people, and um, and me and my friend just had a blast, and we just dance on the dance floor. And later, the people playing the band, they're like, "I love how you guys dance on the dance floor." I was like, "Thank you." You know, I had fun because I didn't have any expectation. I just go there. You know, dancing is not my top jam, but I love it. You know, I allow myself to go for it. You see or not seeing, judging me or not judging me, I don't really care. So, <sighs> yeah, it feels so good to just express that. So if you like this video, please um, comment, like, and subscribe. And also, if you feel resonate and feel free to share with your friends. Um, and if you want to connect with me, I will also put the, uh, my Instagram, uh, my personal Instagram, my healing pages and uh, you know podcast pages uh, in the link below, and uh, yes, do reach out if you have any questions or feedback. I reply, respond to every single comment on my channel. So love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.